I'm Dr. Deb Sloda, owner of Bike and Body in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm here today to talk to you about how to use different soft tissue treatment devices. Specifically, I'm going to teach you how to use balls like this to release tight muscles and tissue on your body. Now, you may be familiar with other treatment tools out there, such as the foam roll or the Theracane. Okay? The Theracane is something I'm going to show you in a later email on um, how to use. But like I said today, I'm going to show you how to use these. These are really useful for a very specific focal point of tightness on your body. So an area that you keep poking at all day long, um, likely you can use this to release that. All right? The area is tight, ropey, it's a knot because muscle fibers are literally stuck together and they shouldn't be. So you can use a lacrosse ball, which is a dense rubber, kind of a non-forgiving surface. Um, you can, or you can use, if you are a little bit more sensitive to this self-treatment uh, stuff, you can use an inflatable ball. And this is a four inch ball, uh, specifically used for myofascial stretching. And um, again, you know, I will, based upon my patient's sensitivity, um, I will recommend one or the other, but um, both definitely have their benefits. Um, and both should be used for about three to five minutes on a certain point, a trigger point, um, to get a good effective release. So I'm gonna demonstrate the use of this ball, the lacrosse ball, on a few different areas of my body. But keep in mind that you can use this ball in a similar fashion almost anywhere on your body. Okay, so first off, um, a very common area to use this is the rotator cuff muscles. And basically what you do is you relax right over it, okay? And you're gonna find that spot that is tight, probably a little uncomfortable, all right? And then from there, what I like to have my clients do is do a little bit of rotation, just a little bit. It gives a more, a more effective release of the muscle. Gets, there, gets in there even more uh, deeply, okay? So that's one area. Another pretty common area I have people use this for is their low back, okay? Right above the hip bone and just to the side of the bony part of your spine, okay? And I'll find that tight rope in my back and I'm just going to basically sink into it, maybe turn my body towards the ball just a little bit. And again, three, three to five minutes is all you need to do. Just relaxing, close your eyes, um, let yourself sink and, uh, and uh, melt over the ball, okay? Another common area is using this for the hips or the glutes. So again, you're gonna place it right on that tight, painful spot. And here we go, right about there. And then, ooh boy, this is a good one. So you're basically gonna sink over it again, same concept, okay? What I don't want you to feel, especially when you're doing this one, is any zinging or electrical-like feeling um, into your leg. Um, that would mean that you're over a large nerve. Please avoid that. But usually, you're gonna find some really good tight spots in your glutes, okay? Um, this can also be used for the quadricep, okay? So you can roll over and find that very focal tight point on your thigh and uh, if you want, you can do a little bit of bending of the leg to get a more effective release. That works too, okay? So those are just a few examples of areas you can use this for. Of course, you can always take your shoes off and, uh, and roll your arch on it too. It's wonderful for that. Um, if you have any questions or concerns and you're watching this over email, just reply to the email and, uh, and let me know what you're thinking. Um, if you're watching this on the internet, show, uh, give me a comment and let me know what you think. And if you have any other ideas or um, questions. Thanks for watching the video, you guys. Take care. Bye.